All right, Nikisha, we're heading over to South Carolina. In South Carolina a couple of years ago, I believe this was back in 2019, there was an unfortunate love affair between a black transgender woman who was fatally shot in rural South Carolina. Oh, no. We are in Columbia, South Carolina. A black transgender woman and a guy she was secretly dating had just been pulled over in rural South Carolina. The young lady's name, Dime Doe. The driver was worried she was already having points against her license and didn't want another ticket. The passenger, the secret lover, I can't pronounce his name, so I'm going to call him Lameek, whom she affectionately called her man. He relied on her for majority of the rides. Everything seemed okay. She called her moms or texted her moms, let her know that she got a ticket, and they moved on. Unfortunately, hours later, the police found her slumped over in the driver's seat of her car, parked in the driveway in a secluded road. This death occurred in 2019 and is now the subject of the nation's first federal trial over an alleged hate crime based on gender identity, which started Tuesday of this week or this month. In the roughly two and a half hours between the last time Doe was seen and the discovery of her body remains unclear. But as the prosecutors wrap up their case this week, more details are emerging about the, the furtive connection between the 24-year-old Doe, as remembered by friends as an outspoken party gore, the U.S. Department of Justice alleges that Ritter, the secret boyfriend, fatally shot Doe to prevent further exposure of their affair in a small country town where the rumor mill was turning. Wow. Yeah. The Texas changes between the pair shows that Ritter tried to dispel gossip. Gossip? Gossip? Tried to dispel gossip in the weeks preceding Doe's death. He was also followed the investigation of her killing while answering his regular girlfriend questions according to the testimony that was given at trial. It was no secret. It was no secret in Allendale, South Carolina, a town of eight thousand people, that Doe had begun her sexual transition as a woman shortly after graduating high school, according to testimony of, of her close friends. Doe started dressing in skirts, getting her nails done, wearing extensions, and they would go out with the girls and they would talk about guys one of those guys happens to be Ritter who came from New York to stay with his grandmother in Allendale during the summertime Doe and Ritter started to grow close during the course of the visits leaving Delicia Green Ritter's regular girlfriend in the summer of 2019 yeah. Ritter initially told Green that he and Doe were cousins the girlfriend testified this week, but one day she found out through a message from an unsaved number on his phone that it was spoken about getting a room and she assumed that there was from Doe. When the girlfriend confronted Ritter, he became upset and told her that she shouldn't question his sexuality. Doe's cousin testified that she too had a relationship with Ritter that summer but ended it after she found out that her cousin Doe was seeing him too. Man, this dude was getting around, was he? Yes, he was. Albany said when she broke up with Ritter, he turned red, threatened to beat Doe for lying on him and using homophobic slurs. Nonetheless, Doe's relationship with Ritter seemed to grow stronger after the entanglement. Other friends said Doe never mentioned any drama between the two. 
But the text messages obtained from the FBI suggest that Ritter sought to keep their connection under wraps as much as possible. He would remind Doe to delete the communications from her phone every time they text. And by the looks of it, they uncovered hundreds of texts that was sent months before her death. Shortly before Doe's death, the text messages started getting tense in July 29, 2019 message. She complained that Ritter did not reciprocate her generosity towards him. He replied that he thought that they had an understanding that she didn't need the extra stuff. So I'm assuming in this text message that Doe was kind of letting him know that she was going to go with the full transition. And I guess he must have felt like she didn't need to go through all of that because of how he initially felt to her. What 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 do you think? That's what it sounds like. He and Jordan love me too. Lord have mercy. That's what that means. When he was he was saying you ain't gotta go through with it. He enjoyed getting probably getting bent over. In July thirty first, Doe said she felt used and that Ritter should never have let his girlfriend find out about them. Ritter's defense attorney says the sampling of the message introduced by the prosecution represented only a snapshot of their exchange. On the day that Doe died, a group of friends saw the defendant right away in the silver car with tenant windows, a vehicle that Ritter's acquaintances, Cordell Jenkins, testified that he seen Doe driving previously. Ritter returned to play cards several hours later. Jenkins said he wore a new outfit, appeared to be on edge. It was a buggy summer day, and the group of four began building a fire in the barrel to smoke out the mosquitoes. This is a long post, but in January of 2023, federal officers charged Ritter with the hate crime for the murder of transgender woman because of her gender identity using a firearm in connection with the hate crime and obstruction of justice. Good for him. Lock his ass up. So, being a part of the LBTQ community, did I say that right? LGBTQ. LGBTQ. Q. Yeah, every five minutes they add something. You said they add in the They just, add in the letter. They add I mean, numbers and letters. Just, I I don't even know anymore. It's the community. Well, all right. So being that you're you're part of the community and everything and you've been you've been a truck driver yourself for many years and shout out to you for the for the awesome conversations that we have on and off the air. I wanted to bring you in because you being a nice female of color, when men come up to you and express interest in you, do you identify yourself? as such to them before you give them the opportunity to see if they want to continue the relationship with you or not? Most time they'll come up to my truck and I make sure I hop in there first and have it running before I say anything because you never know. It might trigger somebody because they probably got tricked in the past or something and I have to protect myself out here. But I do let men know. I do. Because I don't have time for any yeah. of that stuff going on. I mean... It's kind of hard, like when I'm in line or something, they come up behind me, see all this ass and stuff, they come up behind me and stuff, you know, trying to talk and hit out the door, but then they come trying to follow. So I hurry up and jump up in their truck, and then I let them know, be like, no, sweetie, I'm trying. I'm not your type. But most times, a lot of times, they be like, shit, let me, you know, take my digits, you know, blah, 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 through Instagram, you know. Nobody's really suspectful. It's either you look good, but it's not my thing. Or they just, you know, say, all right, thank you, and then walk away. Hey, shout out to those guys that give you that respect, because I'm assuming a lot of them don't. No, they do. I, I think a uh, total about mm, six, about six times they happened where they were kind of like round up and all this is because they were attracted to me. I don't go out looking for guys. I don't, I, I don't approach guys. That's just my thing. I will not do that. I wait till they come to me. And then if the conversation is leading somewhere else, of course, I go ahead and let them know. If I don't plan on seeing them anymore, 
you know, I'll go ahead and let them know. Or not, you know. Okay. It just depends. I have to, I have to fill it out because you don't know who's out here. And there's a lot of down low men out here on this road. And I just do not mess with them. They be all on the little websites to carry on. And I encourage women to go through that phone. And if you see them app, Jack Grinder, Rainbow for Men and Men for Men, all need to go through them phones. And they understand they got those apps where they can hide the other apps and hide photos and different. You have to do your research. You know he don't go drink coffee like that. And it's a coffee damn app on it, so click it. Because they have all that other stuff in there. Now, that's all I'm going to tell y'all. Now, see, that phone going to get you in trouble, bruh. The phone gets you in trouble. And stop trying to be sneaky with stuff. If you know, and this is what I don't like. If you know you're not finished playing in the street, why then go settle down and get married and all this stuff? Dragging people through all this. Now she mad at the trans girl or the gay guy because you are here still. You ain't fulfilled your fantasies and all this stuff. Be up front to people about what you like and all this stuff. Maybe she might like it, maybe not. You got to be up front with people. Now, in this story, the guy was being secretive. If you get with a guy and he likes you, you like him, and he understands the assignment, would you want him to be open with everybody to let them know, hey, this young lady right here, this is who I'm messing with, I'm going to let everybody know, bam. Or how would you feel if he's being secretive with you? Oh, well, that would end. There's no secret. You, well, I ain't gonna have to be no secret with nobody. No, no, there's no being no secret. There's nothing being secret. I mean, it's not like I'm out here looking. I don't look like a hard dude or anything like that. And I don't expect, you know, him to walk around with a sign and say, hey, I'm with the transsexual. That's not, I don't want that. But being secretive, trying to, you know, wanting to come over late at night and, and we not do nothing, we're not out and about enjoying life. You know, I don't want, I don't know. I would end it. I would rather be single than be somebody's secret. Going back to the story of the young lady that was in a small town and after high school, that's where everything started to change for. Her. And that's why I got up out of there. If I'm not mistaken, I remember our conversation was almost the same thing. You was in a small town. You started your transition. You decided to say, right. hey, let me go ahead and bounce up out of here, move, to a, mm-hmm. move to a community that, that pretty much accepts me. And that's why you made the move you made, right? Right, and that's across the United States, all the way to Seattle, Washington. God. It's how God I got it. Because I couldn't do it in no uh, front of Florida. Well, I hope it ain't. But yeah, I couldn't do it there because, you know, and when I, I mean, I started taking hormones there, small dose, and, you know, I was sneak off, go to the big city and try to come back. You know, I get all dressed up, go to the big city, Jacksonville, and um, go back to Fernandina. You know, it was just too much. And um, even today, like, I do go back home and visit my, my dad and stuff and everybody. But I have, like, classmates and stuff. They, they be hitting me up on the low. I'm like, when you come in town, let's get together. I would never sleep with anybody from Ferndina. Nobody would ever come and say, we slept together. You would never go around running my dad's place. They run your business. They nasty, and I ain't got time for it all. Like that young lady just went through. Bless her heart, and I know she's going to glory. But that could happen to me. And I'm not going to have that. What was, what was the reactions that you got? Like, I know you left. You said that you started taking hormones and everything and subtle changes in your appearance and in your body and all like that. But when when you left, your friends and the people from your high school saw you as a male. But what was the reaction that they got when you came back back to town as a full-fledged trans woman with all that body? They dicks got hard. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it is. That's what it is, honey. They did that. Oh, listen, it's true. It's true. They go to slide in the DM. You know, for all the females, you know, even some, well, I will say even some of the females, like cause there's a couple of lesbians. Um, you know, because I was the first. I was the first to do what I did. And now 
I think now it's kind of trickling down. There, there are some people that then came out as a gay or you know, trying to do the transition thing and stuff like that. But yeah, like you remember now, I was on the football team. Okay, now I was on the football team for red track. But um, yeah, so a lot of those guys, you know, they can't believe the whole transition thing. They're like they're looking at old photos because you know we got them yearbooks. Damn you! Yeah, um, you know they just they just can't believe it. So of course they're curious. Their mind is curious. They they want to experience. Hold on, now did that thing say to go into this way station? Yeah, they, I'm just going in. Yeah, they're curious. They be curious. Wow. They want to get together and stuff. I I've been following you on social media for quite a while. Ever since we had our first conversation. And yeah, I I can imagine your your DM is just super blown up. And just by the comments alone in in your comment session is 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 kind of crazy. Is it safe to say that majority of those comments are from from straight men? Oh yeah. Okay. And it's just the thing. A lot of people be thinking just because I'm trans, the gay guys be all over it. Gay guys like other gay men or straight men. Straight men love trans girls. They see us as women, you know. Some of them with a little extra. On a serious note, you're open about your sexuality, period. Like, when people go to your Instagram, your TikTok. There you it let, is. Yeah, you, you let them know right off the rip, like, hey, I'm a trans woman. This is what it is. This is who I look like and all like that. And you got the package as a full-fledged woman. I ain't going to cap. Okay, but for the guys... That comes in and be like, okay, well, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a chance and do this, that, and the third. But then when they get called out, when they names start getting wrung out out there, and then they take it out on you, how do you feel about guys doing that? No, if it's like they feel like if I get rid of the, the situation, everybody will stop talking. Like, what's this to that? I mean, they still gonna talk. His name's still going to be out there. So why even go through that? Live in your truth. Don't go harming somebody because you want to be secretive and it's out there. I mean, you only got one life. Fuck it. It's out there. You like what you like and move on. This tragic story of of Miss Doe happened back in 2019. So rest in peace to this young lady. Hopefully yeah. she does get the the justice that she deserved to this young man that just just snuffed her out because he was if you look at it he he was called out he was called out he tried to do his thing with her and then try to play the straight guy with the other women and he was just called out of everything and he was charged with that existential hate crime before we get on up out of here, Nikisha, what's your whole feelings about this tragic uh, situation? And what advice, if any, that you got for people in the community to protect themselves from potentially getting involved with people like that? Well, this is very unfortunate and, and it's very sad. And like it, it hits really close to home because it can happen to anybody. I actually, uh, back in Jacksonville, witnessed this happening. You know, uh, the girl opened the door. Um, and the guy shot her right in the face, killed her right at her house. And then he come all in the house and stuff looking to see if he's killing anybody else. I had he uh, up under the bed and stuff. But I would say protect yourself. Like you can get out there and put a gun in your titties, in your ass, in your, in your purse. Keep your piece of steel on you. And um, leave these down low men alone. If you have to, if you are, they going to keep you as a secret, it's not worth it. I don't care how good the dick is. Leave, leave it alone. One last question. There was a TikTok that I seen not too long ago. And it was a transgender woman. And she was saying, like, she don't need to let men know that she's a trans woman. But I don't think trans people are obligated to tell the people that we're dating that we're trans. She felt like, I don't need to let you know. It is it is what it is. And so you saying you see me in Walgreens and you see me at the counter and you come up and be like, yo, baby, you attractive. Can I get your number? I'm going to say this. If I'm attracted to you, I'm going to give you my number. And then I'm going to be like, just text me a little later, and I'm going to walk off. I'm not about to tell you that I'm trans right there at that moment. If you felt the need that you don't need to let them know, but they find out, 
aren't you afraid for your for your safety you said earlier in our conversation you said hey here it is this is what i am i'm letting you know right off the rip but how, how do you feel about trans women not telling their sexuality to maybe a potential person i think it's wrong i think it's wrong and no you're not a full-fledged woman you can't have periods you can't give birth you stop all that they need to tell these men straight up because people already across the world think we don't tell them yet. and then when something do happen that's the first thing they go to oh they didn't tell so why keep up the narrative of that we don't tell guys, you know, about our situation, about who we are. That's it's just not true. And um, she's really playing, playing Russian roulette with her life by doing that. I don't know what the psych is to trick guys, but that shit is old. You know, when you, when you first start transitioning, and then you know you wanna you wanna see, but it's more so the conversation, you know, right off. But ain't nobody doing the night in 2024. Go on and tell that man up front. Well, you been trying to get some hot lead in your ass. Then you want people marching for you and shit. I ain't marching for nobody. Thank you for coming on. I really do appreciate it, man. Great conversation, man. Uh, take the tea out of the community. But for me, they can take the tea out of the community because the tea represents identity. We, 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 it's a more of an identity for us. Being gay, being lesbian, bisexual, those are sexual orientations. Those are the ones, oh, I want to make sure I'm saying it right. Yeah, they, they, um, that's just what they do. And they spend time and how they live their life. Uh, only the trans community is the actual IP, so we could be removed. Okay. Now, how do you feel about that's the Q? How do you feel about the Q? Q. Q. I think Q mean career or something like that, but how career? do you feel about how do you feel about that as far as what you just said about the other letters? What is Q? I know it's queer, but what what is it? I I my queer was just why do they even got Q? What is the, what is the Q for? I know it's queer. I don't need people jumping on me. But it's like what is queer? You just like you dress a certain way or whatever? No no I d I, I don't know. Each of the letters as far as what they do, like lesbians, okay, they like women, gay, you you like men, bisexual, you 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 play both sides of the fence. What you said as far as transgender goes, and then queer. It says, uh, oh, not corresponded, established, or identi identify as a certain um, sexuality or gender. Okay. They just whatever. All right, then what the hell is the plus is like? I, I guess they put the plus there just in case in the future they're going to add some more letters to it. Y'all can take me out. Take me out of this community. It's, just, it's too much. It's too much for me. And then they they doing this, and then now you get all these people who are not trans, who are not, you know, whatever, all of a sudden want to be trans. And then two years down the line, they crying on the internet, some of them they don't want to be trans anymore. Well. I, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. This is 2024, and they still trying to make everything woke and modernized for you guys. Right. So I, I guess they just want to make sure that, that straight folks like myself say it the proper way instead of the improper way of that may come off as offensive or disrespectful. That's how I see it. Well, for me, of course, it is she, hers, and hers, and, and, and misses and ma'ams and stuff. That's for me. That's how I identify. But the other ones, I mean, I just don't, you know. What's the ones of non-binary? They just don't know what they want to be. And then they get mad. When you look at them, you see titty and, and, and a soft face and stuff, and you say, excuse me, miss, and, and then they get mad hollering about their dude or vice versa. Well, it's confusing. Well, that's what's up. We're going to get on up out of here, Nikisha, and we'll come back again in another conversation. I appreciate you. Yeah. Uh, in too deep like Omar. Make me want to track you down and hit the track hawk with the crowbar. I knew we wouldn't go far, like we ran out of ethanol. Now your nosy ass mama want to get involved. When I met you, you was on the couch with the plastic. She need an Emmy. Bitch so dramatic. Now your baggage got me on edge like jagged. Fucking up my homes. Look, Patrick. You swift to jump shift like a chief. Been crying on my line like Therese But it ain't all you, it's me Blame it on the things I went through